Hello, in this video I will show you how to set eSigny in Jira Cloud using REST API. Uh, so, what are the choices uh, to set an eSigny? First of all, we can set an eSigny as automatic. Second one, we can set the eSigny as an eSigned. And the third one, we can set eSigny as a user. Okay, let's start. Okay, I've got my Jira over here I've got a test project and here I will be creating issues using REST API so that's uh, the JSON with which I will be creating uh, an issue I will be creating the project called test uh, and that will be the summary uh, I will be creating a task and uh, for my first request I will not use SINE at all. Let's see what's going to happen. So I will push send and now test 5 was created. Let's try to find it and as we can see uh, the SINE is unassigned. But actually it doesn't mean that if you do not provide SINE, SINE will be unassigned. That is the automatic assignment which is used by Jira Cloud. Uh, when you create an issue in Jira Cloud, let's say you push create, you can see that here is signy. We can choose a signy as automatic, and that's exactly what happens when you don't provide a signy. Your signy is automatic. Uh, how to check? How to check it? Let me go to the details of my project and say that the, that the default assignee over here will be project lead. It will be me, right? So right now let's try to execute our request again. And then when we go over here you will see that it's assigned to me. So it worked. So when you do not provide SINE, the automatic mode is on. Uh, the next question is, and what if I want to set an issue as an assigned? Do I have to go again to details and then set default SINE as an assigned? No, it's not necessary. To do that, you have two choices. Uh, the first one, you add here SINE and here, in the name, you provide the value minus one. And that's it. Let's try to execute it. Uh, the new request is created. And here you can see that right now it is unsigned. Or you can remove this thing at all and set no. Let's try. Test eight. You see it's unassigned. So that's how you can set an assigned. And the third case we need to set it to user to which to whom we want to set it. For example, to my user. In this case, we need to add back this one and say here ID equals to my account ID. That's the account ID of my user. Let's try it. And then As you can see, the signee, the signee is set to my user. So again, um, so again, if you don't provide the signee, you will use the automatic mode. If you set name to minus one or a signee to null, the, the signee will be unassigned. And if you provide account, account ID, the signee will be the user for this account ID. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this video will be useful for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.